Thomas and Percy are good friends, but sometimes Percy teases Thomas about being frightened, and he doesn't like that at all. One day, the Fat Controller came to Thomas. I would like you to go to the harbor for me tonight, he said. You have to collect something rather unusual. What sort of something? asked Thomas. Wait and see, said the Fat Controller. Later, Percy was shunting in the yard. Henry came by. The signalman changed the points, and Henry went on by. Then there was trouble. The points are jammed, called the signalman. I can't switch them back for Percy. The workmen will have to amend them in the morning. It's too late now. Hmm, said Percy's driver, inspecting the points. I'm sorry, Percy, but you'll have to stay here for the night. Where are you going? asked Percy. Home for tea. Percy was speechless. Meanwhile, Thomas had received his mysterious load at the harbor. Cinders and ashes, cried Thomas. It's a huge dragon. Don't worry, laughed the driver. This dragon's made of paper. It's for the carnival tomorrow. The workmen put lights all around the dragon for protection, and Thomas has set off into the moonlit night. Nightfall came, and Percy began to feel very lonely. Oh dear, he thought, it's very dark. Screech, went a noise. Oh, said Percy, what's that? It was only an owl, but Percy didn't realize this. Oh, I wish Thomas was here too, he said. But he had soon fallen asleep, so he couldn't think about it anymore. Help, cried Percy. I'm not going to open my eyes until my driver comes. He had been startled. That morning, when the switches were mended, Percy puffed back to the junction. Gordon was just about to leave with the express. You'll never guess what I saw last night, said Percy. Gordon snorted. I'm a busy engine. I don't got time for your games. I've just seen a huge dragon. It was covered in lights. Gordon snorted. You've been in the sun too long. Your dome has cracked. When the other engines heard, they laughed too. Careful, Percy, warned James, or the dragon may gobble you up. No one believes me, puffed Percy. Maybe I did imagine the dragon after all. But Percy soon found out that he hadn't imagined the dragon. Help! Save me! he cried. It's all right, puffed Thomas, and he explained about the carnival. By the way, how was your night out? Percy decided to tell Thomas the truth. Well, Percy, said Thomas, maybe we do feel scared sometimes, but if we're not afraid to tell each other, that means we're quite brave, too.